Hey guys, Mitch Xor here, back with another video, and today, uh, yeah, kind of the weirdest game to start off with, uh, look, I'm trying to find very short games, this game's technically very short, I'm not even gonna take, like, four, like, this one's like 15 levels, so depending on how weekends go, we should be fine. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be doing Plankton's Robotic Revenge, so hopefully... Nothing bad happens. Uh, so, as you press start here, Sponge Oscar, Pants, Flings, and Show Life Events uses an auto save feature. Please do not turn off your console while the icon is visible. Blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Alright, there's no save game present. If you don't create a save game, game progression will not be saved. Create a new save game. Yes. Alright, we're in. So, uh, before I hop in, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the little notification bell, stay updated, all that stuff. By the way, 95% of you guys watch videos and not subscribe, which means you guys should subscribe. Uh, in any case, I do want to see real quick. Okay, so we have this. Do we have subtitles? Oh, I think those are on by default. Oh, wait, yeah, those are Wait, no, they aren't. Oh, yeah, we got cheats. I'm probably going to do a separate video before part two, uh, because those actually, because... One, the currency in this game is actually very much I got a whole lot of them. <clears throat> the uh the the currency in this game is very scarce. Alright, so obviously, real quick, we have five characters to play as. So we got SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, Squidward, and then Mr. Krabs. These are all the five characters you're getting. It's one of those it's literally just like one of those kinds of games, like those four player co-op games. But, uh, yeah, we might as well go with the start to show us as, as we start off here. Can we just skip a day? I'm not gonna do that. Right away, sir. I was just... Let me see audio. Oh, dang. Alright. What was that? That, Karen, was the sound of my dreams becoming reality. You're getting taller? Taller? No. But I definitely will be moving up in the world. <laughs> Why are people so evil nowadays? Now, Krabs, kneel before me in my technological superiority. Your flimsy defenses are no match for my supercharged exoskeleton and robot minions. The Krabby Patty formula is mine. Mine! <laughs> You'll need more than a tin clown suit to outwit me, Plankton. The Krabby Patty formula is perfectly safe in my new ultra secure. Ooh, safe. That wasn't there before? This ultra secure safe? I'll have this open in no time. Get back here with me, safe, Plankton! Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Krabs. I love how they all just show up. <laughs> And he's stolen me safe with a Krabby Patty formula in it. Little does he know that the safe requires a special key to open it. I made three copies of the key. Bro, stop talking. He could literally be right behind you. Thank you. Oh, no. You're a complete idiot. You're a complete idiot. <laughs> what is it? I mean, this game did come out like 2013, so... Let's be honest. Okay, so at least there's subtitles for this. We're safe, we're 
you're safe. What is it, boy? Okay, all we have to do is get a giant speaker system and play sad music about a lonely trucker really loud. What the heck? Next, we'll have a barbecue and start cooking hot dogs, <laughs> baked bananas, and sauerkraut. You're losing me. Then, using electric fencing, an old tuba, and a litter of kittens. Bruh. And how is that gonna help? Squidward, picnics always help. I'm pretty sure the tuba thing is kind of weird. SpongeBob's idea better. Yeah, I like Sandy's idea better. That's it. All we have to do is find the keys before Plankton does, and the formula will be saved. <laughs> so glad I thought of it. it, it never mind. Me too. All right. So we there's actually like three areas. Each with five levels, so it's like kind of like basically like three chapters split in the split up into five levels. So, all right, Dutchman's Triangle in a uh, shipwreck reef. All right, so let me just get basic controls. We got double jumping, we got ground slam, we got right, to attack. Yeah. This is also kind of one of those shooting games, so I'm guessing when figures will be at play here. Alright, uh, these robots aren't gonna be deadly to us. They- they- they will not be deadly to us. Because they're small. Now, once we get to, like, the red-eyed ones, the green-eyed ones aren't gonna be deadly. The red-eyed ones, though, they're gonna be, uh, bas our basic enemies. Oh, what a cute little robot. Okay. So, if you don't know what these are that we're collecting right now, they're sprockets, so we need those for in-game progression. And if we don't have those, then we're screwed. Not really, but you get the idea. Alright. So, next area. Alright, let me unlock these things real quick. I mean, destroy these things, I should say. Alright, we're good. Alright, so X. Alright, lock and load. Unlock the pickle blaster. <laughs> Alright, uh, so... We obviously get different, um... Sprockets, I guess. Not sprockets, but, like, different weapons. So right now, all we got is the pickle blaster. This will also let's switch characters on the fly. But, uh, as of right now... <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Which is R2. Alright, so... But the batteries, those are basically like our special abilities. So, real quick. The best part about this is that we don't have a ammo meter. So we can actually just fire this thing like crazy. And not worry about not having ammo. Now, assuming how the thing isn't upgraded, it ain't gonna be a fast fire rate or anything. I mean, once we get it upgraded... I mean, by the time part two rolls around, we'll probably have it fully upgraded with a couple of new weapons as well. For every single character. Because, you know. But, uh, you get the idea. Alright. So, the best part about it, if we press Y right here... We're invincible! Yes! Invincibility, I say! But I am trying to be careful not to get hit here. So, I am jumping out of the way to not die. So... You know, trying to survive not that hard, but also trying to die really hard. Jump and then press the action button I've been trying a ground slam attack. the other way around, you know what I mean. I don't even know how to do a ground slam. Now the chests. Perform a ground slam attack on treasure chests to open them. Yeah. So <laughs> treasure chests are only like one singular thing. Box of Kelpo, which is literally just yeah. Uh, that's your healing item. Right, I'm actually gonna shoot from a distance. Okay. Sorry, dude. 
I don't want to die. I really don't want to die here. Okay, we're good. We good. All right, we're doing better. All right, we should be seeing a ambush here. That's why you. That's why I called him. So as you may see, there's like a whole bunch of enemies, and they're gonna continuously spawn. I think this is how we get introduced to the towers as well. Ah, shoot, we got hit. Oh wait, okay. There's actually a lot of these guys. Holy crap! This guys are spawning in like crazy. Dang. Okay, we should be seeing. Yep, the tower. So I gotta overload them. Alright, we're good. Uh, alright, let me destroy you. So those enemies will give uh, little batteries, whereas the. <laughs> as the. Uh, what's it called? Those little switch things, I guess? Alright. Now this, we gotta be careful on this one because there is actually an, ach an achievement tied to this. Because <clears throat> if we don't get hit, we'll be fine. But knowing me, I get hit every single time. I'm trying to be careful here. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm trying to dodge. Can't see crap. I made it! I made it! Skydiver. Complete any freefall section without any players taking damage and complete your first freefall section. Uh, okay. Oh, Coral Skydiver. <laughs> Hard to believe that tiny plankton could do so much damage. Tiny plankton, huh? You were saying? Not so hard, really, when you realize you're dealing with a powerful intellect like mine. Sure. I owe it all to these energon power cells. Batteries. They are a source of unlimited power. Using these babies, Karen was able to build me this freaky robot battle suit and an entire robot army. Yes, yes, and a little help from the Plankton family. Oh, no. Not that. I assure you that I will find these blasts. Dude, I remember that episode. I one more thing I must do before I am on my way to world domination. What's that, Plankton? Destroy the lot of you, that's what. Sick em, boys. Oh, wow. Okay. So, at least... At least he won't kill us right off the bat. Ah, of course. Yeah, I'm gonna take damage here. I'm gonna take damage. I'm taking damage here. Okay, we're good. Never mind. Alright, so... Step away from that because Plank is just gonna hit. And now we gotta worry. And I got hit. I got hit! <laughs> okay, we're not doing a lot of... I mean, we're doing slow damage. But we're doing damage. Actually, doing really good damage, actually. Alright. Oh great, a, a giant one? Stay away. Stay away! STAY AWAY! Son of a crap! Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. Here we go, keep up with this guy. Okay. He should be at... Yeah, we're pretty much... He's pretty much at 50% health. Okay, yeah, now he's at 50%. Okay. Okay, come on. Okay, now they're both coming from both sides. I just need to dodge. Or not die. It's either a dodge or die. Oh, dude. Dodge or die. Oh! 
So a little bit of update on uh, things here. I did beat Omega and Fusion Samasu. So now I'm pretty much out of the Fusion Samasu meta. So I gotta get done the the like the future saga battle hard difficult thing. That's not done with this video. Uh, I will do that. But pretty much I'm good on difficult content. Okay, I'm glad to actually switch over to the to the regular size enemies instead of the tower. Uh, but Uh, yeah, so right now, I'm basically kind of getting through those last few bits of difficult content in Dokkan. But other than that, yeah, we're pretty much good. Alright. Now, we should be able to whittle away uh, Plankton's remaining health. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Okay. There ain't no last phase. Okay, we're good. Uh, seaweed squashed when the oh when the first encounter against plankton. <laughs> all right, so in order to end this, we actually need to collect all the sprockets. We did it! Chalk up one more victory to the forces of good. <laughs> Not so fast, young poor bearer. You may have won this first battle, but I assure you that victory will be mine. This cannot end well. Army will have those keys any time now, and I will finally possess the fabled formula for the Krabby Patty. All right, real quick, actually. I suggest giving up this charade and going home. Maybe a nice cup of tea before bed. No, Squidward. We've got to beat Plankton to those keys. I. Yeah, Squidward. I was able to get the cheats up. I, I searched those up the other day. Uh, sea Warrior. Complete a level without being defeated or revived. Dang! We we are getting a lot. Okay. So. Alright. So we gotta go. Oh, wait. It, it's gonna send us into the next level. Alright. Let's upgrade the uh, Pick a Blaster. Alright. Decked out. Unlocking fully upgrade any gizmo. Wow. First part already. We got six achievements. Dang. Okay. So we just need to. Okay. So there's that. Okay, and then we got to upgrade everything for each character. And then players destroy enemies. Yep, okay. Some explanatory there. Alright. Uh, I'm going to just move on. I'm not going to do the next level. But I am. Seeing how this is only like a 15 minute video. I am going to go on ahead and do the, uh, the cheats. Because this will unlock, these will be unlocked for everyone. So what you want to do is obviously go to options, go down to the cheats menu, and what you want to do, it's basically you're basically inputting the Konami code, but with di different button combinations. So I'm gonna try my best to have a like some text over it, like text over the footage, so that way you guys can see what I mean. So the first one. Uh, you want to go left, right, left, right, and then down, down. That'll give you 10,000 bonus rockets for every single character. So, I'm going to have that. Up. And now for the next one, uh, you want to go left, up, down, 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 up. Wait, what? Okay. You want to go left, up, down, 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 up. Okay, that'll give you 1250. Then the next one, uh, well... It, these ones are kind of out of order right now. But the next one, this is another Spocker one. Uh, you want to go down, up, right, left, left, down. So that'll give you 25,000. And that's all the sprockets you'll get. You can't input them again after this, too. You can't really do that, unfortunately. But uh, the next one, what the next three will actually give you weapons. Like early weapon unlocks, which is really useful in this so uh so for the first one you want to go down right left down right right this will give you the condiment cannon and then the next one you'll go up up down left right left this will give you the exploding pie launcher 
And lastly, uh, this will, this next one, you want to go up, left, right, left, down, left, and that will give you the net tuning fork. So now, we pretty much are good with cheats. So if we go over here, you'll see, we go to Deathman's Hollow. Oh, okay. Uh, that's not good. Oh, wait. Wait, now let's try Shipwreck Reef. That should show us. Oh, duh. Alright, hold on. I'll show you guys in a sec. Uh, I can I can risk making this first part a little bit long. Uh, we'll we'll skip this cutscene here. Oh wait, shoot, we can't skip this. All right, uh, I'm gonna cut here, and then we'll cut to the other area. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So after that cutscene, I'm gonna go on ahead and show you guys just to show you, because. These aren't like glitches, these are like predetermined. So I'm not gonna purchase anything yet. For obvious reasons. Uh but you know let's get to it. We'll get to it, so you know. Actually no, I'll probably purchase it uh during next episode because the next video because I'll probably be spending a lot of it. A lot of sparkets anyway. Alright, so as you may see here, yeah, we got a lot of sprockets! Oh yeah, and we got a, uh, wait, oh wait, no, this is a net tuning fork, I'm, I'm lying. Uh, but yeah, so this counts for every single character as well, which is really nice. Uh, so once we play around with each and every single character, this is basically the total for every single character. Uh... I obviously have more with Spongebob because, you know, we play this Spongebob and yeah, it's, it's kind of sad that they're all separate, but also really cool that they're, uh, there. I should also show you how to access the different weapons. So you want to use the bumpers. This is how you access the other, the other things. So there's... And this is like a little thing, and then this is just like a... Yeah, launching pies! This... Alright, but in any case, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. So... Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the little notification bell, stay updated, and I shall see you guys on the next one. Peace.